Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica Data Director Bulk Data Upload. So in today's session we will see what is bulk data load in Informatica Data Directory Director that is IDD, purpose of bulk data load, then what are the configuration required to achieve bulk data load and demo on this. So what is bulk data load? or bulk data import so suppose we got millions of record uh, in the spreadsheet or the csv format and we want to upload in the mdm so there is one process through which we can do and that process nothing but create the mapping task and run those tasks at the etl site so that is extract transport and the load tool such as Informatica Power Center is one of the example. So we can use that tool to convert the existing CSV file and push the data into the landing table. Then run the stage job to push the data from the landing MDM table to the staging MDM table. Then run the load job to push the record from the staging to base object table. So this is quite cumbersome process to load the data. The same process we can achieve in the IDD application using very simple process. So IDD provide one functionality by which we can upload the bulk amount of data through the IDD. Yes, of course we can load the couple of records, right? the few records by creation or the updating the record in the IDD. But if the quantity of the data is huge, there is separate process to do that in the IDD. So we can create multiple parent child and grandchild object in the single bulk operation so if you want to do that yes we can do that even if you want to update the multiple parent child and the grandchild objects in a single bulk operation we can do that the file type supported are either csv or xls uh, excel sx so that is the excel spreadsheet format other than that we we cannot load uh, other file extension data so make sure if the data we are getting in the format csv or excel sx then we can do in the idd application purpose of the bulk data load it's very flexible the solution provided in the idd application is very simple to implement and it is very flexible so that we can load the data from the various source systems for example, if you are getting the so data from the SOHO system called as a um, cells or the CRM, we can make or uh, we can convert into the CSV file from that system and we can use in the IDD application to import. There is a provision to import the records from two types of files that is CSV and as I mentioned Excel spreadsheet. It is, uh, it is almost better way or it is rather better way for loading the data of this type of files. It is very convenient solution and it is a very good feature in the IDD. And uh, I personally prefer this because most of the time we get data a large quantity instead of creating mapping at the ETL side, running the jobs and extra um, overload of the stage and load job. And instead of doing all those steps, we can run in the single step. So it is a one-time operation, we can one-time configuration we have to make and uh, many times we can run the job uh, or we can import the data. What are the configurations are required? So first we need to create import profile. We will see how to create import profile. Then we have to enable data uh, import profile in the CMX server dot properties file which is present under the uh, MDM hub server configuration file folder. Then we have to import the template that one which created in the step one uh, so we have to import that template into the IDD application and then finally we have to just import the data so even the screen on the IDD side which shows the how to import it is very convenient option it has various good uh, functionality which shows how many records are imported whether if record fails what are the records failed what are its row ID object and etc so let's have a demo so first step is creation of the template template nothing but it is an xml file 
so in the IDD most of the things either in XML or the dot properties file so this template is XML file you can give any name to this template I have given the data import template dot XML uh, so you have to follow this convention so you have to create a, a parent or the root element as data import template config you should use the namespace schema location like this and uh, then the next tag is import profile inside the import profile uh, you can use the child or the grandchild so import profile we have given the name of the subject area as a profile because uh, our subject area is profile i would like to show you our idd application so this is the idd application let me log in to this idd application in today's demo we will use the demo customer project so inside this if you see the profile is the subject area and in this profile subject area we have the first name last name middle name display and we are actually getting or pushing the record for the person only so this is kind of person records only so that's it so this is what we have created one uh, application in the IDD. Now we are going to import for this uh, subject area. Our subject area name is profile and it has four columns. First name, last name, middle name and a display name. Uh, let's go to the, our template. So our profile name is subject, our subject area name is profile. Source system, we can give the source system any like for example, if the record is coming from admin, sales, CRM, or any other source system, you can give that uh, source system name here. Name of this profile I'm giving is as this record is for the person, the import person, and the display name, whatever we can give. This. Now we are given the display name as import profile for SA person. Now inside this primary object, we can give the, what are the columns we are going to insert into the MDM hub database that is into the C party table. So we are going to insert first name, last name, middle name, display name. We have to provide the PK source. There are two uh, primary things are required. One is PK source and the source system. So based on these two values, whether the record is present in the cross reference or or it is not, it is checked by the MDM hub. And then and then record is either inserted or the updated based on these two values. So make sure you are passing the source system as well as the PK source object. How to populate the PK source and what is the PK source? Uh, it means we, you can refer my previous videos of the MDM so that you will get more better idea. For now, we know these are the columns already available in my IDD application. So make sure these columns are available. Then save and validate so we have already done this so application is uh, uh, created validated so there should not be any error now the next thing you have to do so we created this profile save this profile so these are the uh, profile creation step next step is configuring the same server dot properties file so we have to make sure there is entry for same this variable or this property the name of property is cmx dot idd dot data import enable the value should be true for this property that means we are enabling the data import functionality for the idd if it is false then the property will be disabled or if you can remove that property if you don't want to use data import functionality in your idd application so let me open the idd application so we have deployed For now, you can see there is create data, queries, and start and data. There is no other option which will help us to import the data. So let's see uh, how we can achieve that. So now, select the application. The next thing is we have to import the, uh, what are the template we have created. So in order to import the template created, select the uh, your application in the IDD, go to the import import to existing added application select that option once 
once you select that it will ask us uh, to select the option so we are going to select here data import template use the browse button and you have to choose the template where you have created just now so we have created this template data import template and saved in a desktop location that is what we have getting select that and open import if it's any error come then it will be displayed on this validation result otherwise there is no error or warning so that means our application is successfully imported that template file clear the cache and redeploy once redeploy is done you can go to the application i just click that link and now you can go to the new button and i can see the import master data option so that option is only available if you import that template and enable that property i click the import file now this this screen will appear to import the data file select the import profile type like import profile for sa person this value is coming from the template so import profile from sa person if you have the multiple profiles in this file you can have that option like you can copy this import profile and paste just below that you can add the subject area uh, subject area child and grandchild so these are the levels we have in the IDD. so you can use the multiple uh, subject areas in this in the single file once you do that uh, there is one second option browse and upload now I have created one one data file so let me go to that so the data file looks like this the name of data file is person and it is nothing but it in excel excel format so it has four column as like our profile first name last name middle name display name and pk source object these are the nothing but the column names into the base object make sure these column names are exact and also those columns are available in the profile you can provide the values for this i'm giving the value like here the last name is this and pk source should be unique other if it is already present then that record will be get updated i will save this and close now we are going to import that person file so which is present at this level okay is any file open maybe one second there is error or it is saying we can check what the data is first name last name these are the four columns let's say x x x save it let's import one more time so now uh, it is saying the file is uploaded now the, click on the next button and here you can see uh, the choose a worksheet import from so there are how many if you have the multiple files you can use those uh, the first like if you see the first line of that spreadsheet is the first name last name and some column names actually so if you want to use this first line as a header then you can select this the next line will be imported as a data so line number two is nothing but it's a data so this start value import line two so it is nothing but that is a it is automatically populate no need to change that if you want to have the any particular line you can mention here click on the next button and now you can see the screen where you have to actually start the uh, job so that will actually what is saying if you start the job and if you try to do something else in between the the job will the job will be uh, uh, interrupted and the record cannot be reverted 
so you we cannot re, uh, re roll back changes after you start the import process so make sure before uh, starting this job all the states are consistent in your database as well as application side at the bottom there are two screens where you can see the how many records got accepted during the process and the second uh, section it shows the how many records got rejected so let's start the job and let's see what happens so the job is started it has only one record and it will process so i can see new profile entity is created one if and uh, there is no rejection or there is no exception for any record so let's see what there are two options got enabled download accepted reject download rejected record so, so as there are no rejects so we will not see any reject uh, option uh, reject uh, spreadsheet but in this down uh, we will download the accepted records spreadsheet so we just download it and we will compare these two files now if you see uh, the person existing file which is available at this location so there are only four columns and uh, actually five columns four columns for the business first name last name middle name display and the picky source while in the the file which we just downloaded which is having the more columns such as it has the business column first name last name middle name and it also has the picky source one which i have just said and there are three other columns first is what is the line number from which record is picked so if you see in this um the person file that are line number one line number two so line number two is nothing but the, this is the record get picked from this file so that is the line number it is giving now uh, the second is what is the um, row id of that column of that record so row id is also mentioned so in if you go to the base object table you can see so this is the base object table go to the party and we can search if you want to search we can search S select star from c party where row id object equal to this let's see whether record is appropriately create or not so we can see the record is just created and the values are like first name is xss last name is abc and whatever we have given the values so that means it is appropriately corrected created and if any message it is mentioned will be mentioned in this um, next column so that means we are successfully able to import the record from the spreadsheet or the csv file so once you're done you can finish the thing and you can check the records so this is very simple process how to create the import template how to create a change of configuration file and how to import the data from the those files I hope this session is helpful for you. If you have any questions about the Informatica Data Director or Informatica MDF, you can mention below. You can subscribe my channel as well. Thank you for watching the video.